Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. What kind of treasure awaits us today?
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. Give yourself up, Emir. Silence! I am the only one who is fit to lead the Dark Forest. Who are you to talk to me this way? My only crime was being born at the wrong time. It is you who do not deserve to lead. As long as I have the power of the Dark Forest, I will- The life force of the forest does not belong to you. All the leaves will eventually wither. Face your fate! Hold your tongue. Dani and Arden are destined to perish and fall to the earth. You are a goat-kissing fool, Ymir. Granny Dani? <laughs> it seems like we old-timers have finally caught up. Master Arden. Speak for yourself, Arden. I'm still a spring chicken compared to you. Ymir! You joined forces with grove killers and desecrated our sacred tree for your own self-serving ends. I shall carry out Mizate's will on this day and mete out justice with my own hands. <laughs> it's been a while since anything has set my blood on fire. I think it is also time for me to stretch my muscles a bit. Be prepared. <sighs> Confess your guilt, and we'll show mercy. Things to curse you all. Shut up, you old hag. My destiny does not end here. You two have not defeated me. I cannot wait. Stop! Light-blasted fool. What are you all standing around for? Go after him!
You're the only one who's never betrayed me. We will make them pay. for sale. Buy four, get one free. Good defense and offense.
Well, victory is deserved. Well, victory is deserved. You're not even worth getting on for. Mm. 
Well, victory is deserved. You're the only one whose power may make me more merciful. A little, at least. Well, victory is deserved. You promised me more power. I need it now. I must defeat these. You seem to think I owe you something, but our deal is already over. However, since our deal was so favorable to me, I'll grant you your wish. Subjects always like to talk. <laughs> well, our guests have arrived. Let the show begin.
everyone must pay a price. You're not even worth getting up for. You're not even worth getting up for. Well, victory is deserved. Find me, children! You're not even worth getting up for. Don't worry! Your delivery's coming up! Come out, my servant, and fight for me! Well, victory is deserved.
Thunder. Lightning. May the wind and frost unite as one. Every sword is a witness. Maybe a single person cannot protect the forest, but I am not alone. <laughs> Standing behind me are my steadfast companions. <laughs> May the wind and frost unite as one. Thunder! Who likes you? Hey! All hit right there! Every sword is a whip. Did we... win? I can no longer sense, Iamir. That stupid fool. No one escaped. The life force stolen by Emir has been absorbed into the Sylvan Egg. As long as it is brought back to the Lucent Tree, it is done. Master Arden, shouldn't you be a little bit happier at a time like this? Yahoo! It's finally over! See? That's how you celebrate. This is the best time for you to compose one of your poems. It's not over yet. Where did that blue-haired woman go? While we were occupied with Eomir, she used magic to escape. Curses! If she attempts to harm our forest again, I'll chop her into pieces! <laughs> Dani, the children have become stronger. That woman would not dare to... Aaron, look at the sword in your hand. I can feel the power of Mizati. Are you still feeling lost? I heard Mizate's call and she guided me on what I must do. But the moment I drew my sword, I, I can't guarantee that I will always be strong. But I believe that even if I end up lost once more, this is the answer I have found. Magister Merlin. This child has grown a lot traveling with you. <laughs> I will tell all our children that the current Magister Merlin... All right. The razor point will show that I walk the path of the blade. May the lucent tree bestow its blessing. The razor point will show that I walk the path of the blade. 
I hope this sword can cleave anything in twain. Frozen water and frigid wind combine with my keen blade to sweep all before it. Magister Merlin, we were waiting for you. Everyone agreed that without you, this ceremony would be... Without your guidance and leadership, we would not have been able to defeat Eomir. I am going to return the life force that Eomir stole from the Dark Forest. We will forever be grateful for your contribution, and regardless of Asperia and its future, your deeds with the Dark Forest is forever grateful to you, Magister Merlin. My back made a cracking sound like rotting wood just now. Oh, Arden, that old rascal isn't much better. As he's got it after the battle with Irmia, Arden and I both need to recover from our injuries. The Council of Elders cannot currently govern. According to the ancient rites in the Dark Forest, when the three elders cannot perform their duties, the scion of the Lucent Tree shall handle all matters until the elders return. From now on, you will be very busy, Aaron. Um, regarding this matter, to tell you the truth, I've decided to travel the world to pursue the path of the sword. And unlike you, I do not have the power to... I may be able to stop the disputes, but you have the power to prevent... I've thought this through. Only by holding this sword can I protect all who dwell in the forest. And you, Laika, are the one who wanders the night and brings dawn to these lands. What the Dark Forest needs now is you, not me. What do you think, Laika? I don't want to force this decision upon you. If you had asked me when this journey began, my answer would have been an emphatic no. However, after all that we've been through, I'll acquiesce. Being a Dusk Patroller, I want to preserve the peace of the Dark Forest forever. Witnessing the Lucent Tree come back to life feels like a dream. Although our journey together was full of dangers and tests, it was an honor to try. When I was at my weakest, you were there to lift me up. I Going forward, I will fulfill all my duties as a Dusk Patroller of the... I've always resented being called the Scion of the Lucent Tree. It appears now that this title might not be in Laika. I hereby grant you the rights to oversee and administer. Laika, in the name of Misate, so do you pledge, though the rivers may run dry and the mountains crumble, are you willing to lead the forest through dusk till dawn? I am willing. Till death.
I will uphold this vow. So witnessed by the lucent tree, so is this oath bound. Are you free? I'd like to return to the Veduso Mountains. Yes, there are a couple of things I wish to discuss with you. Not here. I want to go over there and talk. Thank you. I've marked a location on your map. We've been there before. By the way, Aaron, if you're not planning right away, you should come along. I'll be waiting for you there. The last time we camped here, I didn't get much sleep. Because I'm not very good at fighting, I wasn't much help along the way. That's right. This is exactly what I want to do. Next time we meet, I want to fight side by side with you. While traveling with you, I've learned a lot. I didn't leave the dark forest to see the world. All I wanted to do was go out there and find some help for my home. I'm so lucky I found you. In fact, I was dreading the end of our journey together. I wasn't sure what I was going to do at the end of all of this. However, now I've found a new direction. What lies ahead for me? I have an answer. I've decided to go on a trip. Every whisper of wind the world has to offer. Finally back! How did everything go? Yeah, that was pretty much a given. Not long ago, a dusk patroller stopped by to inform us that the exclusion edict had been lifted. I let General Hogan know via a carrier pigeon. He's already dispatched a ship to retrieve all of us. Whether it's returning to Hollistone or starting a new life in the Dark Forest, these refugees have the freedom to choose. It's almost time for us to return. Although I really want to stay for two more days and give myself a nice vacation, Heroic Order has affairs that I need to attend. Uh, it was a rare trip to the Dark Forest. 
Now I have to get back to work before I even have time to appreciate the scenery. Let's go. Our ship is waiting at the dock. It's time to bid you farewell. I am a little bit sad, though not very sad, since I genuinely think we'll cross paths again in the future. Okay, I need to set off soon as well. Aaron, when are you planning to leave? I will stay for a few more days. Laika just took over handling all the affairs of the Dark Forest. She may need help. Aren't you going to say goodbye to Laika before you leave? Like you said, she's busy in her new role. I don't think she has time to worry about me. It's alright, don't worry about it. I'll write to her in a few days. I think Laika would be upset if you left without saying goodbye. Well, if she does get really angry, remember to say a few nice words for me. Anyway, farewell friends. When the wind blows swiftly towards you once more, that's when we'll see each other again. Alright, find yourself a comfy spot. We'll be gliding through these waters in no time. Watching those refugees find shelter, it feels like things in the dark forest are finally settling down. <laughs> We're just like the tail sucked by the bards! Loyal knights once again wielding their swords and shields, protecting the people! Come on, you big talker. You didn't even do much. Our mighty magister did most of the work, right? Seriously, you're too modest sometimes. Anyways, we're back in Hollistone again. I wonder if anyone missed me.